Hi everyone and welcome to a great edition of Tel Aviv Cocktail Reviews. Today we're going to be trying Bell Boy. Here's Bell Boy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to try it with you. Look how beautiful the hostess is. It's out of control. Well, check it out. Yes. One might say the Bell Boy is one of the finest places in the world. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, we are filming right now. <laughs> Great. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another amazing edition of Tel Aviv Cocktail Reviews. I don't know who I am. <laughs> We're here at Bell Boy. Supposedly, they have it based on styles. So you can get a fruity type cocktail, a refreshing cocktail, complex, sour cocktail, and boozy. Yes, yeah, man. As you can see, I'm an avid fan of going out and trying different types of cocktails in different locations. I'm excited to try Bellboy. It's my first time here. I've heard a lot about it. There is waiters in fancy outfits. I came with a fancy jacket. I'm excited to try three cocktails. I hope you are as well. All right, so we're starting with our first cocktail, the Zanzibar. As you can see, this peacock feather is just popping out, much like me. A straw, as we recall from last time, we have a straw in order to get complete suction. The peacock, as you know, well, let's get straight to it. Wow, I don't know what I'm experiencing right now. Some sort of licorice, tankery gin. Jackfruit, liche, strawberry, lime, demerara, sobolo. I'm gonna have another sip. I'm sold. I would get this every time I arrive. This one is fantastic, but to be honest with you guys, 10 out of 10. I am not just saying that. If you're anyways going to have three cocktails for your night with your loved one, with your family, with your boss, Start with the Zanzibar. Simple, straight, fruity, fun, and delicious. I feel like running through the jungle, baby. Running through the jungle in Zanzibar. And I might even take this home with me. Nice little peacock feather. We don't need water for the rest of the night. We're just gonna drink alcohol, I can't wait. Thank you. Yeah, well, then we'll ask. I promise you we'll ask. God bless you. I'm trolling on purpose. I wanna see how much your bellboy place can take it. I love the music, by the way. Thank you. So we have here the Jerusalem beach food. You can call it food. It won't bite you. What is that? What is that? Gross. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of ice. Okay. It's covered me also. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa. So we have here this food. Vodka. Ginger. Yeah, it's fine. Amazing, delicious, so good. No one cares about my feelings, right? All right, cool. What's this called? Does anyone know? Ducky? So we're gonna try the second drink, second cocktail. Uh, this one's called Keep Clean. It definitely looks wacky. As you can see, there's a rubber ducky in front. He's about to get in a bubble bath. Here's a little ducky short and slow. Into the thingy, oh. mm. About to drink from your bath water. People pay millions for this on OnlyFans. I wonder if they actually drink it though. Whoa! I don't think they drink the bath water. I think they just put it on there. Oh my God! I'm gonna get back to the bath water thing later. This is intense. They disguise it because you have all this sugar water on top. So we're working with mint leaves. Kettle One Vodka, I knew I recognized this. Lemon, elderflower, cordial, and flower soap. Floral soap. I'm assuming that's the sugary soap that's added. Isn't bath time so much fun? It's less cute when the bubbles run out. Like a real bath. Oh my god, do you have a napkin? I didn't expect the bubbles. Just like my ex-wife. <laughs> After a long day at work, I would come home anyways to a bath. Why not come to Bellboy? Why not have a keep clean at the Bellboy? And if I had to rate this drink, I would give it a seven out of 10. And I'm excited for the third drink. Let's get on with it. 
Oh my god, there's a pine cone on fire? The f is that sh I do feel like an old soul sometimes. I do feel like uh, I was supposed to be born in the 1920s. And nothing like Bellboy to just really get you in that time. I feel like Ray Charles is about to walk around the corner and shake my hand or something. It's great. I'm not f***ing around here. This I know it seems like I'm messing around, but the honest truth is I am cocktail reviewing. And if you'd like to join me, you could join me. I would love a like and a subscribe. If not, there's the door. No, 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 stay. Please stay. What? The rock candies that were in here. I don't know what time I Stop us, a little bowl. Love you. Don't worry, we'll do the GoPro thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Waiter. They're supposed to wait. So this is the breakwater. This is the third drink that we're going to be trying today. As you can see, this has the best aesthetic of them all. Look at it. Just look at it for a second. It's literally a conch. I'm excited to try what's inside. We got white water rum with dried fruit infusion. Lime, rubios, mandarin, napoleon, tamarind, red berry puree, lemon, mint leaves. Pina colada, meringue. Enough of this small talk. Let's get involved. Thank God for these straws, am I right, cocktail lovers? <laughs> Just like its category says, fruity. Straight up from the fruit islands of Fruitland. Just look at it. Whoa, whoa. You can edit that out, you can edit that out, you can edit that out. Woo-wee. I really taste the rum here. Look at the conch. Oh wow, this is so good. The lemon meringue is actually offering a sort of leftover sweet lemon taste and the spice. So think chai. I want you all to think chai. Let's just summon Aquaman so he can come drink with us. Woo! Worth the price, worth the experience, worth the flavor. Break water, ladies and gentlemen. Don't eat the flowers unless they tell you to. F me. So what do you have to eat? I'm starving. I'm a, I'm a homeless guy who found this suit. And then they found me. Is there chai in this? Cinnamon! Breakwater had cinnamon. That was the cake that went with the lemon meringue. That was the thing that made uh, the white rum more accessible. Cinnamon, ladies and gentlemen, 10 out of 10 for one of the most interesting drinks I've ever drank in. Out of a conch, with a straw. Without a straw, spilled on myself again. F me. Are you fing serious? How do I drink the rest of this? I want it. You know what I mean? I keep spilling all over myself. What is that for? It's not my birthday. There's an octopus on it. I don't need octopus. I'm getting a fourth drink, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. It's called Toronto. I'm from Canada. Wait. Wait for you. I don't even know how to respond to half of the waiters here. It's comedy. I was promised maple syrup. It's a pecan. Based on pecan syrup we make you here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toronto. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to explain why I'm doing this in a second. It's some sort of bourbon, like you mentioned, on ice, which is one of my favorites. I always go to events and uh, social events and get bourbon on ice because it's a casual, classy drink. Filled with pecan maple syrup, salted cotton candy, with a little bit of amaretto cream on top. <laughs> Bourbon warms my soul. Honestly, when I drink something like this, I feel like I'm sitting in a lodge in Toronto. 
40 years on the turnpike, you learn a few things about bourbon. Whoa, I saw that guy. Drink straight from the flask. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toronto, in my opinion, is 10 out of 10. Check out Bellboy. It's a wonderful experience. As you can see, I dressed for the occasion. I highly recommend you as well. It is very classy. There is a vibe here that'll truly give you the aesthetic of the 1920s and the golden age. If I had to rate Bellboy, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Bellboy is a 10 out of 10. You can just see behind me the aesthetic. The drinks were delicious. They were all portrayed in a very fantastical, amazing way. Like and subscribe to Television Cocktail Reviews. And my pants are falling. I don't have. I don't have. Fucking, well, that's ten out of ten.